You ready to fight? Ready. Good, Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC... <laughs> His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, my goodness. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Throws the teeth. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Rashado Gary gets caught by that frustrating punch. Nice job by the offense there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Leg kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Straight punch is good. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Nice, that pressure, they're about to break. That punch, no good. What a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, no denying that. Oh, they're coming at it here. Two shots landing. This is a great fight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Under a minute now to go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the ball. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. More than one, more than one. Able to block the punch there. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh! Oh, another one. Five minutes. Oh. 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 All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. So he blocks the strike there and now immediately counters with a straight. That is defense into offense, and he certainly looks like the much longer fighter. Nice job. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Just out of range for that strike. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, with authority in the body. Top. Back and forth we go. Oh, how good was that combo here? Oh! oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, and now a big left hand. Gary gets hit with a kick. 
Just over three minutes now to go in round two. starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Drives the shit into the rim. Great body kick. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, Superman punch. Checks the leg kick. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. You know, you can't even worry about what that high... Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh. Right, deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh! Well, just as he did the previous round, Continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Swing and a miss by Ian Machado Garrett. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. All right, so that calf's starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, and Machado Perry gets hit flush with that overhand, and that one hit hard. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Good work, guys. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. 
calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Big kick land. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Fifteen seconds. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Moving a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 9-28, 29-28. With a winner by unanimous decision, the future Ian Machado! All right, so a nice job by the well-rounded fighter.